Hi, Reed. How are you? I'm great, Claudia. Thanks so much. I tell you, today we're having the kind of weather you only imagine when you think of the word Alaska. Uh, we're going to have to be extra careful with our safety practices today, I can tell you. How have you been? I'm doing very good. I'm here in San Pedro Sula, Honduras, and enjoying this tropical weather here. <laughs> Must be nice. Yes, very nice. So, Rick, as you know, we are in Women History Month, and every day we have more women opening the way to other women. So, I noticed that more than half of your direct report are women. So, I had a question for you. What action have you taken intentionally to support women leadership in the Crowley? And how can other leaders get involved? Well, Claudia, it's true. We have several women on the Alaska leadership team and they're smart ladies. They do a great job and they certainly make my job a whole lot easier. But I'm also proud that we have women working in other important roles in the organization too. We have women in administrative and finance roles, but we also have women who manage a terminal, who drive our trucks, work as operators, sail our vessels, uh, operate the dock, and dispatch our trucks. We have women in every aspect of our business. And I think when we focus on finding the right people with the right attitude, while leaving these filters and biases behind, we can make exceptional progress in the area of promoting diversity and also drive the organization to success. So I think as leaders, you know, we have to be looking for step out opportunities for diverse candidates. Sometimes all that's needed is a little more experience or one more training, a little more mentoring. And if we give people the opportunity to grow, if we provide the support and guide them on their journey, the difference they make never ever disappoints. So that's a little bit about our philosophy here, but you know, I'm proud of the women in our workforce. And so I'd like to ask you, you know, as a woman in a key leadership position, what advice might you give women who feel challenged in a historically male dominated industry such as ours? I will tell them be confident and ambitious. Believe in yourself, trust your experience and explore your knowledge in whichever area you perform and strengthen your competencies. This will help your personal and professional development. Of course, personal and professional development should be an ongoing effort if you really want to add value to any industry. But ultimately, it will make you gain respect and admiration from a male-dominated <coughs> industry. Every challenging moment you face in your professional life, you should view and act on it with courage, optimism, and confidence. Approach it as a new opportunity to grow, letting people know where you stand, but at the same time, it will give you more experience, making you stronger, creative, and wiser. To me, confidence is never to allow a difficult situation to turn into someone you are not. Ambitions includes collaborating also with others because you want the best results. Building partnership to make shared objectives and complete situation with a minimum of noise. Instill trust to gain supporters and their trust through honesty, integrity, and honoring commitment. To complement it all, you need to have a balance in your life. You cannot solve all your problems in one day. Make time to exercise, meditate, Spend quality time with your family, travel, or do things you enjoy. All this has worked for me, and hopefully, they will work for other women as well. That's really great advice, Claudia. I think there's probably something in that there that we can all follow. Um, the one thing I think we both agree on is we work for a great company and a company that promotes inclusion as well as diversity. And I think if we follow your good advice, if we keep our eye on the prize, we can continue to make measurable change as we move forward together. And that's the ultimate goal. It was great talking to you. Thank you, Rick.